This video is for all of the auto shop owners who are sick of doing it all yourself. I'm here with Sean Gilfillan. Sean Gilfillan owns uh, Automotive Magic and Magic Lube and Rubber in New Jersey. Sean, it's great yeah. to have you here. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. I uh, can't wait to get into some of this stuff, you know? Yeah. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Lawson. I'm the owner and founder of Technician Find. We've been uh, helping auto and diesel repair shops since 2017 find and hire good techs and good talent. So um, the big thing that I see is that um, if you don't have the team in place, then there's no opportunities for expansion. There's no opportunities for freedom. And you're stuck putting out all the fires yourself. What's been your experience with this, Sean? Well, I got to tell you, this uh, this year, we're 21 years in business and uh, probably spent the first uh, 15 of those 21 years uh, putting fires out, right? Showing up to work early, people calling out, always jumping in to be the hero, saving the day, filling in for whoever's missing, doing that hard diagnostic that might not have the right guy in place to be able to figure this stuff out. And, uh, you know, really when I started to put the focus on running the business as opposed to working in it um, and finding those right people, you've helped me tremendously to uh, attract the right people to our culture and uh, and how we believe, you know, we should be operating as an auto repair shop for, for our clients and guests. And, um, you know, I think the biggest thing that uh, really started to pivot things for us was having a game for the guys to play, right? You, you want a team to play and you put them on a field and there's no game or no challenge or no real organization to what needed to be achieved or even knowing the numbers and bring it into like, how much do we need to achieve to get over our mark where we can actually start to afford to pay those people more money. Right. And um, I think games are uh, tremendously important and having a, an opportunity for everybody to feel like uh, they're really part owner, right. To get a piece of the pie as the pie grows. Yep. And uh, that's been tremendous, uh, tremendously uh, helpful in, uh, in our organization over the last five, six years. Yeah. That's fantastic. You said so much there. I just want to unpack a little bit of that. Um, yeah. Part of it is attracting, absolutely attracting, having a game for people to play because everybody wants to be part of something bigger than themselves. Yeah. And one of the big things that when we're, when we're writing ads for shops is we always want to find out what those unique characteristics of, an, of a shop are. What, what are the values? What, are, what is the culture? So that you can match up the employees with the culture. And when you have these things going on, it makes it really easy to attract that top talent. So figuring that out is fantastic. And the other part about this that um, I'm surprised, you know, after all these years, uh, how many times I'll get on the phone with a shop owner or a GM and they'll ask me what they should be paying their techs. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's it's really interesting. You know, somebody that's been in the business for 20 or 30 years is saying, hey, Chris, what do you think? Um, and the fact that you've really dived into that, you're really, you've created a game where not only there's profit sharing involved, but um, they have a very um, healthy compensation and you know that you're not going to get burned because you've gone through those numbers and you figured yeah. all this out. And I think that's fantastic. And that's something that you're going to be sharing uh, with this event that we have coming yeah. up at the end of the month. Um, tell us a little bit more about what you're going to be sharing at the event. Yeah. So we're going to go with, uh, like a deep dive into, into the numbers and really looking at you know, the business from 30,000 feet, what does it look like when it's operating as a, a healthy organization, right? You got your percentage allocations out for, you know, paying your technicians and or really showing a technician and or the rest of the, uh, you know, the employees, how the, how the numbers work, right? This is a pretty much a machine, right? We fix cars and we're in a customer service business. And the more we get done, the more everybody makes. But, uh, you know, one of the big pitfalls that I know really bit me many years back was not having my point of sale system set up with the proper cost allocation for the technician. So as we're billing the job out thinking we're getting the right profit, uh, you know, lined up on those estimates when we're selling a job and our cost is off, you know, whether it wasn't loaded up or we didn't compare it with our payroll and not even looking at the two numbers uh, jiving, not to mention my books really weren't uh, that great a shape till around 2015 ish. Right. So we're just really, gain traction and being able to very simply teach and share with your employees how the machine works so that everybody knows where they fit, what they're all worth, say value wise, and, uh, and what they bring to the table. Cause uh, you know, when you could put a number in front of somebody or a technician might come in and say, Hey, I want to make a hundred thousand bucks this year. It's like, well, cool. I'll show you exactly how to do that. And not for nothing. I'll show you how to make more. Yep. Right. So it really gives them the opportunity to pull the game towards them 
gives them the opportunity to know that they're an organization that's going to do everything that it can to get whatever's in the way of them being able to produce those goals that they set for themselves. Yeah. And I think uh, that really is, a, I mean, deep dive into the numbers, but really on a basic level, your numbers got to be straight or you can't run your business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love it when we work with shops like yours, because it makes my job so much easier. <laughs> um, you know, it, and it's not only when you have a system like that in place, it not only helps you attract top talent, it helps you to retain top talent because, yeah. You know, we all know this. What happens is if you've got some rock star technicians, they other shops are looking at those technicians oh, yeah. and, you, you know, they're getting phone calls. You know, they're even I mean, I've even heard stories about stocking and all kinds of things that happen. But when you've got these things in place inside your organization and there's full transparency on what's going on, it, it really builds a moat around them so that uh you know, that they're not going to be uh, uh, attacked and poached from other areas. So um, this event, we're really excited about this event. Sean and I are, um, you know, collaborating with um, uh, uh, some other folks to put this event together. And we're going to be spending an entire day on the attraction piece. So how do you attract top talent? How do you attract top techs, top service advisors? What do you need to say in your ads? I'm going to share the technician attraction blueprint. We're going to talk all about that, how you how you craft a compelling story to market your shop so that you bring in and attract top talent. And then day two is going to be all about developing. So we're going to be talking about developing. How do you develop a, a high-performing self-managing team? How do you go about doing that? So we're going to have uh, world-class speakers that are going to talk about that topic. And then day three is going to be all about retention. How do you retain these folks? So you've taken the time and you put in the energy into attracting this really high performance team and you've built them up into a self-managing team that uh, really frees you up from the day to day of putting out fires. How do you make sure they don't get poached and they leave? You know, it's uh, how do you make sure you're not training your competition? So as soon as they get trained up, they get poached away and leave. So that's all day three. And at the end of this whole thing, we're going to have just amazing networking. We're going to have, uh, I mean, you want to be in this room because there are going to be people who have been there, who have done this. We're all going to be sharing and collaborating, masterminding. At the end, you're going to leave with a blueprint on how exactly to develop your own team, how to attract, develop, and retain your teams. Anything uh, that you'd like to say to a shop owner or a GM or an independent shop that is watching this and says, you know what, I'd love to be there, but I can't take time out of the, the shop. Oh, if you can't take time out of the shop on a Friday, especially if you're, uh, you know, the owner or even a manager, you sh your team should be able to, you know, perform for you, especially just taking a Friday. Uh, I know Thursday, we're doing a couple shop tours the day before. If anybody wants to come out early and you take two days and challenge yourself, and uh, I think we're even going to be doing some skydiving. So uh, we're going to make this a fun event. But uh, really, if you can't get out of your shop, you need to figure out how to be here for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're going to, I think you're going to take uh, some folks out on the boat. Um... We're going to have some some good meals. It's going to be a, a really great time. So if uh, you'd like to get more information, there'll be a link here. And it's called Repair Shop Growth Systems Live 2024. And we'd love to see you there. Yeah. Take care.